Hey everyone, it's the last week of April, can't believe it, um, <laughs> but it's a new week and I have new cards for us, so let's see what we got. First up, we have the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man is Major Arcana, so this is involving events coming up this week. And I forgot to tell you that I'm back to my Mystic Dreamer deck and I had my primary guide Morgan draw these cards for us for what we need to know this week. So the Hanged Man is all about looking at a situation from a whole new angle that you would never have looked before. And I love in this deck how, see those two birds are holding her up those are your spirit guides and your angels. So when this card comes up, it's a nudge from spirit to try looking at something from a whole new way and know that you're protected while you do it. They're holding you up, so nothing bad is going to happen to you. Um, but look at it from a whole new angle. So when something comes up this week where your knee-jerk reaction is to go, no, um, remember this card and think about it from a whole new way. What if I did this? and know that you are safe in deciding that. All right, and the next one, we got the Three of Pentacles. So Pentacles, remember, is the element of Earth. These are your earthly goods, your earthly body. These are the health and money cards. And the Three is always like the, I get along with a little help from my friends card. So she's painting this cathedral and her friends are there helping. So when this card comes up, it's a nudge from Spirit to check in with your friends regarding health and money issues. So. For instance, if you're looking for a new job this week, be sure that you talk to your friends about it and they know that you're looking for more work or something like that because somebody probably knows somebody who is going to be able to connect you with that. Or if it's a health thing, you know, tell your friend, guy, I want to lose five pounds and they go, oh my gosh, I'm trying this brand new thing. Let's be buddies together. So um, check in with your friends this week because health and money wise, um, you guys are going to be doing something together. And finally, nice, the High Priestess. So the High Priestess in Tarot is Major Arcana, and it's a big call from Spirit to get reconnected with Spirit. So this week, whatever your um, spiritual practice is, it could be, you know, God, Allah, what, whatever your spiritual practice is, get back in touch with it this week. So make time to meditate or to pray or, um, you know, write down some lists of sp things that make you feel spiritual that you could get involved in and do this week. Um, Spirit is calling you to reconnect. It's really cool when you get really connected with Spirit and you focus on it for a week. It takes away some of that anxiety because we feel reconnected. We we are part of that fabric of stars, right? And this is our chance to um, reconnect with that. So this week, really focus on that. You're going to need that grounding um, back. Open that crown chakra and get yourself back connected. All right. And then I had Morgan draw one oracle card and I did use my unicorn oracle. After I decided to do that, I thought I had second guesses and I was like, well, I, I use the unicorn a lot. Maybe I should use a different one. I have a million oracle decks. But then I thought, well, I always tell people about that inner knowing and to follow your gut. And so I went with it. I had already taken them out. That's what we're doing. So let's see what the unicorn card is that Morgan drew for us. Friendship. I love this card because see the little bunny on top of the unicorn's head? It can be that our friends are very different from us, but they are still our friends. They will still be there when we need them. So this week, look at these two cards going together, right? So this week, check in with your friends. Focus on your friendships. Deepen them a little bit. Let them know that you are so glad that they are in your life. Um, it's, it's really important, especially as we're rounding the, another corner on this pandemic, um, be sure that you check in with your friends, even if it's a text or a phone call or a Zoom call or something like that. Just check in and be sure that they know how much um, they mean to you. It makes a big difference. And if you are feeling lonely right now, reach out to a friend because it's not that no one loves you. <laughs> Everybody's been shut in for a really long time and we're all watching Netflix and, and it, it's not that you're not loved. So reach out and say, hey, I'm feeling lonely and you know, get back connected with your friends. All right, so to recap for the week, 
We got the Hanged Man. So something, some event is going to come up this week and you're going to want to knee jerk, do the same reaction you always do. This card's calling you to look at it from a whole new angle and don't be afraid because your angels and guides are with you. All right. Next up is the Three of Pentacles. Something with your health and money is going to come up this week. And this is calling on you to check in with your friends because somebody you know already has the answer that you're looking for, right? Makes perfect sense. All right. And finally, this week, make some time for you to get reconnected with your creator, whatever that is in, in your belief system. Get reconnected. Remember that you're part of something bigger than yourself. Huge right? So focus on that this week. And finally, check in with your friends because friendship is one of our most important parts of being human. So check in with your friends. Um, if you are feeling lonely, you can also reach out, um, you know, and reconnect. And also, I consider all of you friends, so leave comments and I will answer them, all right? Thanks so much. And speaking of comments, um, please be sure to like the video so that YouTube shows it more. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a reading. Please share this with your friends. <laughs> There's your friends again. Um, <laughs> share it with your friends so they can get a reading. And also, if you ever want a private reading, the link is down below. I do 30-minute readings over Zoom, and you can um, hit that button to find out more about that. I'm happy to read for you. And also, there is a coffee link down there if you would just like to give me a little tip. I love those. They totally make my day and I do get Starbucks tea. I don't have, I was going to show you, but I don't have it here with me. See how sad that is? Anyway, <laughs> so if you want to do a coffee, hit the coffee link, you can give me a little tip for iced tea and that's awesome too. Thanks so much for checking in this week. I hope that you all have a fantastic week. I'm sending blessings your way and I will see you next week. Thanks so much guys. Bye-bye.